Hi everyone, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. But today's video, however, is pretty damn special. You guys may remember back in August that I was reeling that I was selling my previous car, my Audi A1. And actually shortly after that video went live, the car sold. So it's been about three months of frantically searching for the perfect replacement. And I finally found it. And you know what? I think you guys are gonna absolutely love it. collection day. Today is the 31st of October 2018 and I'm here today at Lancaster Volkswagen here in Loughton, Essex. As you can probably tell I am stupidly excited because I haven't really had a proper look around the car. I have seen it but not properly. So I think without further ado let's go check this thing out and show you my brand new car. Okay here we go. It looks so good. <laughs> Honestly, you guys have no idea how long this has been in the making. And it's actually been really quite hard to, to get one of these things because they do not hang around. I put deposits, I nearly put deposits down on three and they had sold. So uh, I'm very lucky to be able to have this. Huge thank you to Lancaster Volkswagen here in Loughton for helping me with everything I need. But, um, but yeah, here we go. <laughs> Now that I've kind of calmed down, the car is now officially in my name, I've signed all the papers and whatnot, I can finally show you around my new car. So as you guys know, it's a 2018 Mark 7.5 Golf R. It's finished in the signature color, which is lapis blue. It's also got uh, various other options, uh, which I'll get to in a moment. But I just want to explain to you kind of the added extras you get through the facelifted car. So this being the 7.5, you get a more aggressive front end, you've got all these little gloss black bits which make it more aggressive gloss black grille uh, which looks good compared to the standard 7. Uh, we've also got some updated side skirts which make it look a little bit lower uh, a little bit more squat and then we've got a newly redesigned rear splitter. All of that is finished in gloss black which I love really goes well with the lapis blue paint um, but here at the back you can see the four exhausts which is probably the selling point of this car when you see one on the road you know it's an R when you see those four tailpipes um, but it, it just looks good from every single angle. I absolutely love it. This one has the 19-inch Pretoria alloys. This was another must uh, when searching for the car. I had to have these and ideally in gloss black. Uh, so I'm happy that I've got all that um, right off the bat. And then inside, things get a little bit more interesting. Obviously with the 7.5R, you get the virtual cockpit. Uh, so the digital dash. So that's really cool. And I've important. also gone for the DSG. Obviously it's probably about half a second quicker to 60. Uh, I think it's more fun. I, I know that's probably going to be quite controversial. Uh, manual cars are fun, but I think for the Golf R, it really does suit DSG. Uh, now this is actually the standard interior. Uh, you can pay an, an extra two grand to have full leather seats. But I think these, the standard ones, actually look better. So we've got half cloth and then half Alcantara around the edge with the white stitching. It's actually got quite a bit of bucket to it. So when you sit in it, it is actually quite snug. We've also got the R emblem up there. But actually, if I hop on inside, I can show you the virtual cockpit in more detail, actually. So if I pop the key in ignition, everything will fire up, needles do a sweep. Um, but in general, it is a really, really nice place to be. Now, when I was looking for 
one of these. I never really sat in one, I never experienced one. I still haven't driven one, um, so I'm still yet to find that out, but I kind of didn't really know much about it. I just knew I wanted one, and honestly, this has been going on for so long. I think it's almost been a year since I've been actively looking for one of these things. Um, so you can probably understand my excitement right now. But we've also got an 8-inch touchscreen display here with all your multimedia stuff. Um, but anyway, I think I'm going to start this thing up and uh, have a bit of fun. <laughs> I still need to set up everything in here. You can actually get driver um, profiles, which is quite cool. I just find the whole virtual cockpit so, so cool. You can just flick through everything like that, which I need to learn. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, but actually, quite an interesting thing about the Golf R is you have different driving modes. So we're in Eco at the moment. We've got Normal, we've got Race, and we've got Individual, where you can basically change everything to your standards, blah, blah, blah. But I think I'm going to whack it in Race obviously so there we go <laughs> this is uh, pretty much a little overview of the car uh, absolutely love it uh, but i'm dying to get this thing out of the road get some miles on it so i think that's exactly what i'm gonna do right now <laughs> Okay, so there are a few little things which I want to address whilst on this first little venture. So mainly, the reason why this has all taken so long, um, you guys may remember that I released a video on my channel uh, in August, late August, revealing that I was selling my A1, my previous car, uh, and actually shortly after uh, releasing that video, the car sold. So it's literally been three months uh, that I've been properly looking for one of these things um, and like I said earlier on these things really do not hang around um, like I was saying I, I went to go put deposits on I think three uh, and in the space of me looking at them online and going and calling them up uh, they'd already sold so um, they sell like hotcakes they're so popular these things especially in this spec uh, and that's another reason why it took so long as well, is I was so fussy with a spec. Uh, I, I had a number of people looking for uh, a Golf R for me. Um, and they said, oh, I found a Pacific Blue one. Uh, and I said, nope, got to be Lapis Blue. And I said, I found a Lapis Blue one, but it hasn't got the wheels. Nope, got to have the wheels. Uh, so I've been very fussy, but that also kind of means why I'm just so excited to finally have one. Um, and uh, yeah. <laughs> So another reason why I went for a Golf R uh, rather than say like an A45 or a Focus RS or something like that, a kind of a rivaling hot hatch I suppose you could say, uh, is mainly down to my dad actually. Now when he was kind of my age or kind of when he was young, sorry dad, <laughs> um, he loved golfs, golf GTIs because they were the going thing back then, kind of the Mark 1s, the Mark 2s uh, and I think he had about five uh, consecutively one after the other. He absolutely loved them. He did different things too. I, mean, I think he had gold BBS wheels on, on one of the ones. Uh, but I kind of guess I just followed the footsteps, I suppose you could say. Uh, and I'd al I've always had a soft spot for the Golfs. Uh, they're pretty bulletproof, really. Uh, the family has had some since then, whilst I've been around um, as kind of get around cars. Uh, and they're pretty bulletproof, really. You can't really go wrong with them. And then, of course, you've got the R. I mean, this thing is 310 brake. Uh, around 310, whereas the 7 is uh, just shy of 300, I think it's 296. Um, sub 5 seconds to, from 0 to 6, I'm not sure on the exact time, but I know it's quick, especially with the DSG, uh, which again, like I said, is why I went for the DSG, but just first few miles on this thing, it, it is an absolute dream. It's so easy to drive, being a German car, uh, continuing my streak with the German cars, it's so easy to drive. I love this digital dash in front of me showing all the different modes and uh, various temperatures and whatnot and it's just a lovely place to be and I absolutely love it. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there we are then, collection day of the new car complete. I am absolutely loving it and I haven't even begun to touch some of the capabilities of this thing. I can't wait to uh, fully wind out that 300 brake horsepower and see what this thing can really do. But I think it's gonna have to wait for now as it's getting a bit dark and I've got a long drive back home. So I think I'm gonna end today's video here. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video and if you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.